Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video here in Passy Shift. And we're playing a little bit of Apex Legends. It's a new battle royale game from the creators of Titanfall Respawn Entertainment. I've already just downloaded them. Do you have another first look, first see, first try? And what I'm going to do is go through the legends that are available uh, that you can play as and take a look at the things that you can unlock for each character. I make my wish list of what I want to have. Now, um, yeah, so I was, I was worried for a second that I wouldn't even be able to look at the ones I can't, I don't even own the characters for yet. But we'll go and work our way through them as we see here. Uh, Bloodhound, technological tracker. The our first artwork I saw for this was the front screen where it shows like three or four of the characters, and he was one of the ones, or they were one of the ones that I first saw. And I like the design; it's very scarecrow esque So I want to see what kind of costumes we have as possibilities. Um, yes, a legendary one. So let's go. Plague Doctor, nice. Oh, cool! It actually has the plague mask as well. Um, I wish you, can you can here? Can I actually rotate him? No, nope, you cannot rotate. Ah, that'd be cool so I can actually take a look at that. Oh, yes, I can. There we go. Ooh. So black. Black, Plague Doctor. The Rune Keeper. Plague Doctor in red. I like that one, just for the fact it's probably very visible, though. Uh, Royal Guard. Oh, dude! <laughs> just for the arrow quiver on the back, man. I actually really like that one, too. Cool, so the legendaries for this guy so far are actually badass. I'm, I think Royal Guard. Yeah, Royal Guard I'm actually happier with. Uh, the Imperial Warrior. Looks good, uh, but I don't know if maybe it's just a bit too shiny for me. But I like the the red and white, red and silver on this one. Oh yep, yeah, that's the first costume I'm going to put myself aside for. Twelve hundred for any of the legendaries. Um, next one's up, fiber optics. Yeah, I can be on board with that. A uh, bit of a muted one. It looks, it actually looks more like a um, artisan kind of thing with the actual danglies in the front. Uh, growing viral. Ooh, ooh, bit cyberpunk. I love the pattern design on it. Cool beans. Uh, hack the system. All right. All right. I think I'm bored with this. A bit of Lucio-esque <laughs> in the patterning. But um, yeah, I actually like I like the idea of there being like an actively moving costume color. That's all I actually, I don't think, I, do we see that in any of the Overwatch costumes where they actually have like active flowing colors? You're a bit distracted and very easy to spot in the crowd, especially if you're trying to sneak, but I like it. Heat sink. Um, cool. Pattern LED material. That's Neural net. And rave mode. In blue. Out of all those, I definitely like Hackness. Um, that's for the patterns on it. The, uh, I didn't even notice the one on fiber optics until after I got the viral. Going viral and Hackness. Both like, but I'll probably go Hackness first. Hack the planet! 400 for that. Uh, boom. Real. Okay, so now we're actually on to just blur swaps. From the original design of the costume. Uh, camo, standard camo. Rope, almost like, kind of like the, almost like a pinstripe. That's actually a very dashing look. Like the design. Uh, Tropic Speak, another style of camo. Checkered past. It's, I'm not too, like that one, I'm not too fussed on, but uh, actually at this point, we're just working our way through colors. Um, more of a kind of camo e forestry. That looks like somebody converted that out of curtains. Lucky lucky charm. Oh for fuck's sake. I actually just thought it was like a hat battle. It actually is. Uh, I hit that one. I just thought I'd hit that one. <laughs> Blood lie. Cool. I actually like that as a static version of the other one. But that's actually a cheap one right now. Do I have enough? I have enough for that. Uh green screen. Another cool pattern. Simple. I actually wouldn't mind having one of those. It's actually just... See, the, at this point, there's all the ones that you would get from the very beginning of the game. Just the fact that you actually might be able to have enough uh, materials for that if you haven't bought any boxes. If you're buying any boxes. One setter. Mm, yeah. That's a bit chilled out. Sitting on the beach. Kind of relaxing more. Warlord. Or red. Nick skin. See, the fact that they actually got... I, they're not just kind of coloring the materials. It kind of looks like the material is the snake skin as well. So it's got a bit of depth to it. I like it. Damn. I like the design that one too. I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed with even just the basic color swaps on the lower, on the uncommon tier ones. Um, pardon. <laughs> Scottish warrior on the battlefield. And greatness awaits. Oh, I have this one unlocked. Oh, cool. So this actually came as part of the PS Plus package. So I actually have this for myself. I think I will equip that one. Cool. Yes, plus. 
Um, the knight, and of course the rest needs to be followed. Changes just. Barely some people are swap one part of the costume. Yeah, yellow jacket. I actually like that one. I like the hair spikes at the top for that one. And yeah, the rest are aged. Red Sahara is going to be kind of a sandy. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's a whole bunch of. Oh, I like the fact that. Oh, okay. So there is a lot of customizables. I'm actually. I think I might actually do these as individual videos or my opinions on each character's customizables because there's a lot for each one of them here. I kind of just. Wanna, it's going to drag long. I go through them all in one long batch. So maybe I'll just do each one individually and kind of submit through them out. So at least we'll go through here. We'll take a look first to see what we've got. So basic frames. That's cool. Actually, yeah, the fact the legendary and uncommon frames I'm imagining are. Yes, okay, so I can see where the tears are going with this. Basic, that background. Any of the legendary ones are going to have a little bit of animation to them. The actual cards are like essentially the holographic cards, your shinies, best way to describe them for anybody's banner or frame that they go with. Um, go through it. And then the next turn underneath that, the uncommon ones are going to be a static but detailed background. It's going to have some image, some sort of cross them. Oh, I actually have another one. I've gotten bits for that as well. And then for the end of it, it's actually going to be. Uh, more static, simple pattern ones. And then on to the actual poses. Again, animated pose to start off with. Okay. Uh, unbreakable bond between him and his raven. Thumbs it in. Okay. Bring it. Threatening. Yeah, that's a that's a creepy little pose. Just because of the fact it takes so long for him to actually raise his hand and wave at you. It master. Fuck your ass up with those machetes. Anybody who looks lovingly at a hand knife like that. Hey, nice. So all the uh, well, they're not these are rares rather than uncommons or legendaries. There's just rare ones for these. Um and then that skills are gonna be dynamic. I like that dead to rights one. Pretty cool. Burn, dot color. Each of these are going to be poses from each character's kind of person. And they're only on commons or rares for those. Badges, badges of buttons everywhere. Some of these, some of these are going to be related to uh, unlock achievements. Yeah. Ah, uh, see, if you own a founder's pack or own a legendary skin, um, get different legends. Join a player from a distance. These are unlockables for different badges you can get. Dance. Crackers for telling you everything you've done. No? Oh, cool. So there actually is one specifically for your skills as well. Yeah, trackers for each of these things. Uh, your background statistical information. Well, let's go. Let's see what the truth sound like. I will shed blood and honor the All Father. All Father? <laughs> you guys got this whole um, Oath the Raven thing going on. Plague Doctor. Flash, Wastelander, plus um, Asgardian? <laughs> or, well, not Asgardian, um, Norse mythology and beliefs under the Allfather. The battle begins. May the gods bless you. Okay. I fall only when the gods will it. Okay. Have you prepared for your end? No, no, I never prepare for the I end. Have. I always expect a little bit of special or something extra afterwards. I'm gonna check the audio levels to make sure it isn't too low. I'm just realizing, looking at that, I'm just going, like, mm, no, that, my voice is way, way higher than the quotes are actually playing back at. So, in here, da -da. everything's at 100%. Weird. Oh. And that might work. Here we go. Your mind and today is a good day to fight. Ah, excellent. Today is a good day to fight. Maybe not to die. Blessings are upon me and brethren. Your mind. Every day is a new victory. Find me, and we will battle. 
Honor is in the challenge, pride in the victory. Like my brethren before me, I will Slatra. Slatra? Or? I will never disappoint my brethren. Prove your strength before the gods. The day is mine. On Gufer, the fight honors me. The hunt begins. The true test is before the All Father. Today's victory is already written. When we meet, I will slaughter. I will slaughter. It is your honor to face <laughs> me. <laughs> That's a little bit of cheek, just. Okay, so Mongols, I think, yeah, like his um, religious statements, like the "May the gods bless you." I will only die if the gods will. But and the hunter, what was this one? I am the hunter of the gods. I like that sent. one because it's actually just it's threatening and actually has that kind of like almost Gergo-esque intro to it as well with the blast. Your mind and spirit is the strongest weapon you have. A bad beginning draws a bad end. A victory I will be grateful for. My stout heart defeated your sharp sword. We fought. This makes you brave and no coward. Come, Gita. Do not regret. Don't let your wounds end your fate. Fear has ruled your actions today. Focus. The greed will eat your mortal sorrow. Stand by your trial. I am not here to judge. I am ready for my end. I give a life. I don't taka. Don't taka? I winna as the gods will it. I'm trying. I'm... I winna till the end. I'm trying to figure out. I don't know what the accent or the phrasing should be. Is is it actually like almost a a, a Finnish direction kind of like? Is that where is that where this is kind of coming from? Because for the pronunciation, because it it's, it sounds cool. <laughs> I'm just uh, wondering where it's from. You can actually tell me in the comments underneath. That would be curious. Keep your pride. There is more honor in death than a life without test. My weaker fate is on my side. Your poor trust led to a poor end. Pride is the true victory. Slow and sure. We'll always win the race. Take your pride and cherish it. The old father graces you. Never forget the eyes of Bluthhunder. Bloodhound? The gods have decided. The hungry wolf always talk at the Vina. Hungry wolf. Sounds a bit German, but I'm assuming it actually is somewhere up northern than that. So, especially with the Allfather um, and um, Norse referencing, I'm thinking that's where this accent is coming from. But it's it just, it just sounds cool coming out of this guy, with even with the accented kind of like effect of it going through the mask. Today, I fared forward with the most vigor. The path led us here today. The pride of life calls for you. The slatra of this battle will be remembered. This loss is a gift for you. You may learn to suck less. Get good job. To fight and fall is a hep life. I trust the gooster of the wind. That led to my win. I like that one. I, I trust the gust of the wind. I, I am a leaf on the wind. Watch how I soar. I actually like that one. I really want to craft that one right now, but I want to go through the characters. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. I'll trust myself in my choice. There is no shame in competition. I have talked over that again. Trust yourself. There is no shame in competition. Yeah. We knew this end would come. You are no coward. Remember that. Your final hour cannot be escaped. Embrace it. You think yourself skilled. Your ignorance meets your end. Your journey ends today. Your strength showed life. And you can choose to have none. You can actually choose to have no kill quote whenever you take somebody down. Interesting. Right, so the last thing to look at for each character is their finishers. You can do this whenever you actually knock down an opponent and you actually want to finish them off. Oof. Well, that's actually almost from his um, card. It's actually like right on target. Bam. And down you go. Now for a clean kill. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh holy shit. Ah. Oh. <laughs> like one in and a second one into the ribs and then give it a wee turn. Oi. 
I could actually feel that one. I actually felt that one in my chest. Of course, the raven just pops down, gets itself a snack. I mean, it's been waiting for eyeballs all day. Ooh, I actually like that one. Considering the tone of the character, that is actually really nice to see. <laughs> Died with honor. Your weapon, good night. <laughs> all right, cool. Especially, oh, the Wolf Honor one would look amazing with a good kill quote. And then the clean, like, so each one of these matter and what one you'd actually, use, how relevant they would be with the one you probably did. Cost 1200. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff to Wait, right. Bloodhound. Interesting character. I've already unlocked a skin for it just by having the PS Plus pack, so I'm happy enough with that. Um, yeah. Bloodhound is, it seems to be an interesting character. Um, let's just take a quick look at as well since we're like since we're doing like character specific ones might as well do them individually uh passive skills a tracker uh foes leave behind clues that you can find so that you can find out if somebody was there i have the all father briefly reveal enemies i said essentially um sniperless vision or it's like sniper scope vision just see straight through wall be able to spot anything anywhere i like it and then beast of the hunt transform into the ultimate hunter enhances your senses allowing you to see old tracks and move faster you can literally just like throw that on and hunt down any characters that are nearby i imagine at end uh, like mid game this is going to make him so, so damn useful. But you essentially just have him hunt down people that you're trying to kill once you've got all your stuff equipped and know where they're going to be coming from and prepare an ambush. I like this I like this idea of a character. I like this idea of skills. I've it's This is essentially what I kind of wanted Realm Real to be whenever I first heard it being announced by Paladins or the people who made Paladins high res. I wanted, I wanted superheroes. I wanted unlockable skills. And I wanted to actually have them inside a Battle Royale environment. So this is, as, this is kind of getting closer to the Overwatch in battle royale mode that we kind of were expecting so i'm looking forward to give this a try in a wee moment and actually go through each of the characters and understand them completely within gameplay but yeah thank you very much for watching this is actually being a quick look at bloodhound from apex legends and you'll be of course seeing more of that as we go through the rest of the characters if you enjoy this have any thoughts or questions throw them in the comments below and of course remember to like comment subscribe all the usual things thank you very much for watching and i will see all you dudes in the next video bye